In these problems, we're doing some computations with pie charts. Uh, this one says, the students of a certain college were asked to choose which of six movie genres was their favorite. And we've got historical, action, horror, comedy, drama, and other. 20% chose historical, wow. Um, the pie chart below shows the distribution of students' answers. If there are 20,000 students at this college, how many chose drama, other, or historical? Uh-huh. So in the chart, we're just given percents. The whole thing adds up to 20,000. If we want to find out the actual number of students that chose drama, other, or historical, what we need to do is add up the percents for those three. So historical is 20, drama is 21, so that's 41, plus 29 is uh, 70. So that's 70 percent. And what we're doing really is 70 percent of 20,000. So that's going to be 0.7 times 20,000. And that is 14,000 students. All right, let's look at another one. This one says that the pie chart shows the annual budget for a certain company divided by department. So they've got research, sales, engineering, etc. If the total budget is 50 million, what amount is budgeted for editorial and sales combined? Okay, so the whole thing is 50 million. Editorial and sales. So editorial is 5% and sales is 15%. So total, they're 20% when you put them together. So we want 20% of 50 million. That is 0.2 times 50 million. And that, of course, is 10 million. So that's a little bit of work with computations from pie charts.